Unsolved. Episode 202, John Bonet Case, Boulder Police Missteps. John and Patsy criticized the Boulder Police in their book. The book portrays the case like it's the police's fault that the killer got away from justice. Yes, John and Patsy, the police mistakes did. It let you get away with killing and covering up your daughter's death. So here's a short list of some of the things mentioned in their book. A couple of my thoughts. And of course, there's several other things that aren't put on this list. So the first is the police didn't search the entire house when they first got there. What bothers me about John or Patsy putting this in their book is they should have searched the house for John Bonet, the complete house. And or when they called 911, they should have reported that they did not search the whole house. Or when the police came to the door, they should have said they didn't search at all for John Bonet. Next, it says they parked police cars in front of their house. Well, again, Patsy didn't tell the 911 operator that the ransom note said what it did about not notifying the police. Instead, she hung up on the 911 operator. Furthermore, criticizing the Boulder police for parking their cars in front of their house, how does that help the cause to save their daughter? John Bonet was already dead, so it had no effect at all, and it's not going to help find the killer of John Bonet either. Then it states in their book, they asked John Ramsey to look around the house after, you know, at one o'clock after seven hours. Again, the Ramseys reported it as a kidnapping ransom. And then, and they acted that way. They didn't demand for search dogs to come. They didn't organize a search party to start looking around the back alley and look around, see if they could find something, a car, car tracks, a witness or a neighbor that might have saw something. Patsy mentioning that it was a mistake of the police or Detective Arndt to let John Ramsey find John Bonet's body is ludicrous. By him finding the body, that didn't stop the police or doesn't stop the police from finding the real killer or the intruder killer of John Bonet. It made it difficult for them to prosecute John Ramsey for killing his daughter because he picked her up. He moved stuff. He was in there. That's the problem. It's not that if somebody else's DNA or footprint was there or something else was there, it's now disappeared. It's it's still there. The, The criticism is we can't convict Patsy or John. Because John took off the tape of John Bonet's mouth. While we're on this topic, I find it funny that John included this in the book. I guess because John Ramsey found John Bonet's body, that shows that he's not the typical um, family member that kills a child. But it says, generally, if a parent kills the child, they don't want to be the one to find the child. If they do search, say, in a a residence, they get someone else to say, okay, Frank, you check this room, and I'll be over here checking the other room. That's exactly what happened in this case. First, Patsy didn't go looking for John Bonet. She had somebody else, the police, go looking for John Bonet. And then after seven hours, John Ramsey went looking only after the police detective asked him to. 
and he kind of did the same thing. He went downstairs and with Fleet and looked around, and he didn't go right to the body. And then he led into the wine cellar. And then the second part of this quote is, the other thing you look at is how the child is left. When, when parents kill, they usually place the child in a very, very peaceful type of look to it. They, they stage the crime scene. Well, that's exactly what happened, especially if Patsy is the one that killed John Bonet. She was wrapped up in a little blanket and it was staged like a crime. The police didn't thoroughly question John and Patsy. They should have separated them and got clear answers to what time she went to bed, did they wake up in, um, in the night, did they hear anything, what time, what exactly they did when they got up. This questioning doesn't necessarily point the finger at John or Patsy. John could remember something or Patsy could remember something that the other didn't remember that could lead to how the intruder got away or, or what John Bonet was wearing or some clue as to what happened. It's very important where when you have both of them together and one speaks, the other one is hesitant to correct the other one or could be hesitant to correct the other one, depending on your marriage, I guess. And the police didn't treat the entire house like a crime scene, especially the basement. The police went down into the basement, so they should have uh, cordoned off that area. The thought that the police mishandling of the case is the reason why an intruder hasn't been caught is false. The police missteps help John and Patsy get away with the murder. If they would have done a better job, like finding John Bonet's body, then they would have been able to preserve that wine cellar area in the basement and then they could have shown that Patsy put the black tape on John Bonet's mouth, or they might have found evidence in that room that John or Patsy was in there that night. That's what happened. It's not because the police did a poor job that some intruder has gotten away with this, because they have that information. So in conclusion, I just want to say I don't blame the police. Everybody thinks they're miracle workers or something. They're Sherlock Holmes or Nancy Drew or something, and they can solve anything. But most cases are pretty simple, and it's easy to find the killer looking through different leads. It's only when it's some crazy case like this so what I'm going to do next is suggest what John and Patsy should have done to help find the killer of their daughter. Don't hang up on the 911 operator. Don't call your friends over to your house. Read the entire ransom note. Look for your daughter. She might be dying somewhere nearby. And help the police. For example, John Ramsey testified that he saw the broken window, yet he didn't tell a police officer about it. The $118,000, which is close to the total of John Ramsey's uh, bonus, work bonus, do you realize that he didn't tell them that? The police asked him to look at the ransom note and he wouldn't say anything about the ransom note. It was only four months later when the police asked him 
about the $118,000 and it matching his or being very close to his work bonus that that was brought up. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And I'll see you tomorrow for the Zodiac Killer case. Until next time, watch out. Be safe.